So, how many lines down from 38? Um, two, three, four, five, five lines. It's on the middle. But it's, look at the bottom of the bulge. Okay. Not the top of the bulge. Okay, so it's 38.7. Thirty-eight point. There we go. Well, the Katie. Okay, thirty-eight point seven. So the volume. Volume is 38.7 milliliters. Okay? 38,7 milliliters. Was that oxalic acid or oxalic acid? And we had 25 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. All happy with that? You've already got the concentration. Now, let me give you the formula. It's a bit complicated, but I know you'll cope with it. Here's the formula. Number of moles acid over number of moles base equals concentration times volume of acid over concentration of base times volume of base. That's your formula you're going to work out. Now, what are we going to try, are we trying to find here? Are we trying to find the concentration of the acid or the base? That's the one we don't know, right? Yes. So that's the unknown. Do you know the concentration of the acid? Yes. You worked it out. What was it? 0,105. 0,105. Do we know the volume of the acid? Yes. We can work in moles. It was volume of the acid equals 38,7 and what was the volume of the base? 25. Now let me tell you why you don't have to bother to convert it to decimal to cubed. Because if you're going to convert the volume of the acid to decimal to cubed, you're going to do the same calculation to the volume of the base. So just leave both of them and then you don't have to do the same calculation for both. Does that make sense? If you've got a volume if you wanted to, you could divide both by a thousand, if you wanted to. But dividing top and bottom by a thousand doesn't change it. So maybe you want to. Now, where do we get that number of acid and number of base from? We get it from the balanced equation. Now, look at this acid. Do you see, first of all, an acid is something that donates hydrogen. But this is a very special acid. First of all, it's got carbon, so it's an organic acid. It's got a carboxylic group, a carboxyl group, so it's, you know it's an organic acid. But it's got two carboxyl groups that donate two H+. So this is what we call a diprotic acid. It's, don it's twice acidic. Maybe you've never heard of this before. Fine. So let's give the balanced equation. Okay, so here's the balanced equation. We've got, here's the formula. H2C2O4, we can, or doesn't matter, add the 2 h to o It just, let's leave the 2 h to o out plus NaOH goes to form salt and water.
Okay, I'm going to have to rush this. Here's the salt. Those two hydrogens come off, and we need two of those. So it becomes two, I mean Na2, Na2, C2O4, C2O4 plus two waters are formed. If you check it out, it should be balanced. There's the balanced reaction. Now, look at this. We have one of those, and two of those forms one of those, one of those and two of those. So, what's the number of moles of acid here? One. What's the number of moles of base? Two. So you put the one for the, that one here, the coefficient of the acid. You put a two for the coefficient of the base in the balanced equation. Equals concentration acid times volume acid is the same as the number of moles. Concentration times volume is also moles. And concentration volume base is the same as the number of moles base. So now you've got everything you need to figure out the concentration of the acid. Uh, of what are we